Well, praise God, and again, <coughs> get on more about the New World Order, as I feel this is a very essential part of the study on the mark of the beast, the rise of the beast. Praise God, as we're seeing the collaboration of uh, governments from our generation and generations past coming together, forming a one world government. It is our desire to form this government, which the uh, Bible talks about in Daniel and Revelation chapter 13. Praise God, it is coming together. And there's so many sinister schemes going on in our day and age. I mean, we live in Canada, the United States, and sometimes, you know, there's a lot of blindness. There's, there, this is the age of deception. People are lulled to sleep. They really don't realize what's going on behind closed doors, behind uh, uh, our governments. Uh, as Ephesians says, you know, for wrestling not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Praise God, we do not really understand. Praise God. Even many church folk don't understand what's going on. But there is something very sinister going on. A new world order is being formed. Praise God. And it will bring man, mankind into uh, slavery. It's like, you know, Babylon. We live in the world of Babylon, you know. Praise God. And there's many slaves in Babylon. Praise God. And all those el the elitists were... Uh, controlling the nations and uh, that's what's going to happen. It's going to be like a rise of Hitler again. That's what we're seeing. It's all happening. So <clears throat> it's up for us to, you know, you know, take the information and learn what's going on in our day and age and not be blinded and get our hearts right with God because this is all prophesied to happen and I'm just praying that people would wake up. Praise God as, you know, the Lord by His grace and mercy woke me up out of a you know, out of many years of, of, of a backslidden state, and uh, I was a rock and roll, party hardy type guy, and like to drink and do crazy things. Praise God, but by the grace of God, the mercy of God, and you know, I ever, ever feel it in my heart to share the gospel and to, uh, I got a deep burden in my soul to help people, and to, because I can feel this spirit of slumber upon the nations, hallelujah. I feel it. Praise God. I know there's something so heavy uh, that's trying to get people to sleep and slumber and, you know, not take the, the gospel and the word of God literally and uh, seriously. Praise God. But the word of God will save your soul. So we need to take heed. And, and this new world order is arising and there's, it's a very complex, uh, sinister agenda. And I'm here to share what I know and what I'm learning about it so that people will not be caught unawares. Praise God. So anyway, back to the New World Order. This is another article that says that the 20th century idols of atheism, humanism, and communism have become mainstream and now accepted by most. We are now moving to a contest for the souls and minds of people where we now face formidable opponents in godless, liberal, collectivist, neoconservative, fascist, globalist, New Age religion, Islam, and Satanism. No longer are we only threatened from without by a group of balding, hardline communists. We are now threatened from within by a group of intelligent, well-dressed globalists who are convincing Americans and the nations of the world that the only way to lasting world peace is the establishment of a new world order. Praise God. A nation can survive its fools and even the ambitious, but it cannot survive treason from within. An enemy at the gates is less formidable, for he is known and he carries his banners openly, but the traitors moves among those within the gates freely, his sly whispers rustling through all the alleys, heard in the very halls of government itself, for the traitor appears not traitor. He speaks in the accents familiar to his victims, and he wears their face in their garments, and he appears to the baseness that lies deep in the hearts of all men. 
He rots the soul of a nation. He works secretly and unknown in the night to undermine the pillars of a city. He infects the body politic so that it can no longer resist. A murderer is less to be feared. And that's a quote from Cicero, 42 BC. Okay, New World Order is a term used to describe the uniting of the world's superpowers to secure and maintain global peace, safety, and security. Syn synonymous with the term New World Order are the terms One World Government, Global Governance, and globalization. All these terms are used interchangeably and at different times to communicate different audiences. Communicate, communicate to different audiences. Make no mistake, they all basically mean the same thing. From a biblical perspective, the globalist New World Order agenda is nothing new and is addressed in Psalm 2 verses 1 to 3, which I read earlier, but we'll read it again. Why do the heathen nations conspire and the people's plot in vain? The kings of the earth rise up and the rulers band together against the Lord and against his anointed saying, let us break their chains and throw off their shackles. Okay, wake up citizens, the New World Order is coming. There is not a New World Order conspiracy. It is an agenda that has been in play for years and is now coming into full view. Wake up fellow citizens, see what's happening. Research the New World Order for yourself and prepare yourself. If not for yourself, do it for your children. I am con increasingly convinced the New World Order is in fact the Antichrist system of command and controls being set up to fulfill Bible prophecy that will eventually lead to the introduction of the Mark of the Beast. This is very serious stuff, praise God. This is not a storyline from some movie or from some Hollywood novel or from some novel. This stuff has been prophesied and we are seeing the fruition of it in our day and age. And it is our responsibility to take heed to the word of God and to the warnings. Praise God as we're seeing all the signs of the times lined up, line upon line, precept upon precept. Praise God and we do not want to be like Noah's day where they laughed at Noah, God's man, who warned them of the impending coming flood. Hallelujah. It took 120 years. But that was God's grace, giving people man time, man a long time to get ready, to hearken to the word of the Lord. But they foolishly did not listen, and they perished. Praise God! And the animals had more sense to get in the ark than humans. Praise God! Only eight people were saved out of thousands. And God's not looking for uh, quantity; He's looking for quality. He's looking for those who will obey Him. Praise God! The prophet Daniel describes this new world order this way. And behold, the fourth beast, dreadful and terrible and strong exceedingly, and it had great iron teeth. It devoured and break in pieces and stamped the residue with the feet of it, and it was diverse from all the beasts that were before it. And it had ten horns. I considered the horns, and behold, there came up among them another little horn, before whom there were three of the first horns plucked up by the roots. And behold, in this horn were eyes like the eyes of a man and mouth speaking great things. That's Daniel 7 verse 7 verse 8. Amen. The fourth beast shall be the fourth kingdom upon the earth, which shall be diverse from all kingdoms, and shall devour the whole earth, and shall tread it down and break it in pieces. And the ten horns out of, the, out of this kingdom are ten kings that shall arise, and others shall r rise among them, and he shall be diverse from the first, and he shall subdue three kings, and he shall speak great words against the Most High, and shall wear of the saints of the Most High, and think to change times and laws, and they shall be given into his hand until a time and times, and the dividing of times. That's seven verse or Daniel seven verse twenty three to twenty five. Praise God. And we can again read uh, Revelation chapter 13 to go along with that. Praise God. Amen. All fits together. 
Okay. Many people dismiss the New World Order as a conspiracy theory. In truth, it is neither a conspiracy nor a theory. It may be true there are many conspirators working within the New World Order in its broader application. The New World Order is really more of an agenda by a group of satanic-inspired oligarchy of the world's richest families to dominate, control, and manipulate governments, industry, and media organizations worldwide. To facilitate the management of this agenda calls for the elimination of half the world population through war, disease, abortion, and famine. As Psalm 2 said, the kings of the earth governments rise up and the rulers band together a conspiracy against the Lord and against his anointed. Praise God. Any intelligent person examining history and, and events occurring today cannot describe it as a theory either. Rather, the New World Order is clearly documented in historical documents in both the words and actions of world leaders. Praise God. The first attempt at, the first attempt to establish a New World Order was by a united humanity of the generations following the Great Flood, speaking a single language and migrating from the East, who came to the land of Shinar and built the Tower of Babel, Genesis 11. Satan tempted even Jesus, pr promising him world dominion as his reward. This same promise has been give, given to scores of other men over the ages. History tells of many who have accepted the great deceiver's terms. The modern day world order agenda is not hidden. It has been detailed in documents from the Council on Foreign Relations, Trilateral Commission, Bilderberg Group, Club of Rome, United Nations, World Bank, and the International Monetary Fund. And with that I will take a little break and we'll, we'll continue with this in a few minutes, in Jesus' name.